In this problem, we're going to write this in what's called algebraic form. So our final answer has to have zero trig functions. We have to end up with just a bunch of x's. This is useful later on when we study an integration technique called trigonometric substitution. At the end of those problems, we'll be doing a problem like this. So this problem in itself is pretty long, so it kind of gives you a preview into how hard and long some of the problems will become. So the very first step is to call this piece here theta. So always as a first step, you wanna let that inside piece be theta. So theta, is equal to the arc sine of 2x. So arc sine of 2x. Good stuff. Now we use the fact that the arc sine is the inverse sine function. So the arc sine takes 2x and sends it to theta. So the sine function undoes that. So the sine function takes theta and sends it back to 2x. This is because the arc sine and the sine function are inverse functions. Now we use an ancient uh, proverb, I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but it's so ka toa. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the trick is to write this as 2x over 1. So then it's o over h. And now we draw a triangle. So we draw a little triangle here. So there's our triangle, there's our theta. So opposite is 2x. So opposite the angle would be here. This here is our 90 degree angle. So this is called the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is one. So recap, step one, you call the inside piece theta. The next step is use the fact that this is the inverse sine. The arc sine takes 2x and sends it to theta. So the sine function undoes that and takes theta and sends it back to 2x. Then use the ancient proverb, so katoa, so katoa. So this is so, so it's 2x over 1, so it's opposite of a hypotenuse, cheap trick. O is 2x, that's your opposite, h is 1. Now we have to solve the triangle. I personally like to use the letter b, so I'll call this little b. And we use another ancient theorem, the theorem of Pythagoras. It says that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. In other words, the hypotenuse squared is equal to these guys squared and being added. So we have that 1 squared is equal to 2x squared plus little b squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem, right? So the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other sides. Solve for little b. So we'll subtract this piece. So we have b squared equals 1 minus, let's go ahead and multiply this out, 4x squared. Say so what I do there, basically I subtracted this over to the other side. This is really 4x squared. Take the square root. You do get a plus or minus, but you only take the plus because this is the side, uh, this is the length of the side of a triangle. So it can't be negative. So b is equal to this. In theory, you could finish the problem now, but I always personally recommend, and I always do this, I like to show all the steps. I like to go back in and fill in the triangle. This is especially important uh, for later on when we get into trigonometric substitution because sometimes you'll have multiple expressions like this. And so you really wanna have the triangle completely spelled out for you on, on your paper. Okay, let's finish. So going back to the beginning. So from the beginning, we have this. We know this is equal to cosine of theta. And we know using our ancient proverb, this is a over h. So I'll even write it, a over h. But now we've completely you know, solved this triangle. We have all the sides. Uh, at least, and so adjacent is going to be this one. So one minus four x squared, and then our hypotenuse is just one, so over one. And so we end up with one minus four x squared. Really nice problem, um, great, great problem. And this is something, again, that comes up later uh, in calculus too, so worth learning and worth getting really good at. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.